All right, now we're gonna launch EC2 instances. Again, those are like the virtual machines. And then we're gonna show you how to tear it down or terminate those EC2 instances. Now, EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. And basically it's putting a virtual machine up into the cloud. You can do all kinds of different operating systems and different storage sizes for their hard drives and whatever you wanna do as far as different functions for these servers or systems. It's just like you're using your computer and using your virtual machine software like VMware, but you're just putting it into the cloud. Okay, now we're gonna create an EC2 instance. So there's two ways you can do it. Either on the main screen, you'll have this launch a virtual machine, or you can go to services and then compute and EC2. So we're gonna click launch instance, launch instance again. And we're gonna do this Amazon Linux 2 AMI version. Hit select. The T2 micro service, that's the instance type we're gonna do. And again, that's a free tier eligible option. We'll hit next to configure more details. We're just gonna leave this one in the default VPC. If you have your own VPC, you can put it in there as well. But for this, we're just gonna put this directly into our default VPC. And then if we look at the rest of the options here, everything else looks good. So we'll hit next add storage. We're gonna leave this as the default storage option. Next to add tags, we're not gonna add any tags. We're just gonna leave it as is. Go next to security groups. And we could select an existing security group if we had one. So we could go through here and pick one. We're just gonna create a new one here. So we're gonna actually just allow all traffic here. And that way any traffic can come to this actual EC2 instance. We're gonna get rid of this soon. So this is not a great practice to do if you're gonna leave your EC2 instance up because it's on the internet, internet facing. A lot of people can hit this system. So you gotta be really careful with this. These are kind of like firewall rules. And the source, we're gonna allow it to come from anywhere. Same thing, this is not a great practice if you're gonna leave it up, but we're just doing this for illustration purposes. So review and launch. Everything looks good and we'll hit launch. Now for this, if you don't already have a key pair, you need to create one so that you can connect in with something like SSH. So to do that, you do create a new pair. The key pair name, we'll do test user two, and we'll download that key pair. Now we're gonna do launch instances. All right, now we'll go to view instances, and we'll go ahead and give this a few minutes to boot up. So now that our EC2 instance is running, we need to go ahead and click on it here, and we need to connect to it. So we're gonna use an application called Putty, and specifically Putty Key Generator first, because we're gonna take that key that we downloaded earlier, that access key, and we're gonna convert it into a format that Putty can use. So we're gonna to go to conversions, import key, and we did test user 2pim as the file that we saved earlier. So we'll hit open, and we'll click save private key. We'll select yes and test user 2.ppk and hit save. Okay, so now we're gonna actually SSH into the system. So we need to actually copy the IP address. So we'll click right here on this little square. We'll bring in PuTTY and we'll go ahead and put that into the host name. We'll then go down to SSH. We'll expand this out and go to auth. And then we need to browse for that private key that we just converted. So here it is, test user two. Okay. And then we will hit open. Now you're gonna get a login screen that looks like this, asking for the username. So now what we need to do, because you might not know the username, is we will hit connect on the EC2 console. And this gives us the username of EC2-user. If we bring this back over here and we type ec2-user, that's gonna allow us to actually log into the system. So congratulations, you've just spun up a Linux EC2 instance. When you're done using your EC2 instance, you wanna go ahead and shut it down. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it again. And instant state, 
we actually want to just terminate this because we're done using it. But you could do stop or reboot, all those different options from here. So I'm going to do terminate, and I'm going to go ahead and terminate it. And once this is done, similar to this second one here, it'll say terminated, and it will no longer be in your connection in your profile. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.